Um, I, I was just kind of curious, like, just what, what's the normal mechanism by which there's like checks and balances, and, and when does the controller come in? When does agency head? Well, you know, OMB is very much involved in the in the process. They got, you know, uh, their staff is, you know, five six times what the finance staff is. So I mean, you know, this, you know, this could have been picked up by uh, any number of individuals, you know, that looked at the details of the budget. You know, I look at the big picture. It's a fifty-nine billion dollar budget. I can't possibly claim uh, to go through item by item every every group, you know, that's listed and whether they're a legitimate group or not. I mean, how am I supposed to know that? How is uh, how are, is anybody? You know, we have staff. They look at it. Uh, you know, but I think the bottom line in this whole process is that nobody is accusing anyone of, um, you know, having the money go to, uh, you know, um, anybody's pocket or some purpose that's not a legitimate purpose. All the people that eventually got this money were legitimate groups uh, that provided uh, legitimate uh, services uh, to a lot of people that may have, for one reason or another, slipped through the, uh, the normal budget process or were underfunded uh, for various reasons. You know, there are a lot of typos in the budget every year where people, we make mistakes and then we can't correct it until we do a budget mod. This is a way, I guess, that could have been corrected uh, without a budget mod. There was someone who told me that said, look, members, for better or for worse, actually voted on something that was fraudulent. These groups that didn't exist getting money. And secondly, if there's... No, if there's I, don't know, I, I would say it's not fraudulent. I would say it was just, you know, uh, it's a more, name it's for a group that, that was a holding pattern. You know, the holding group. Right, but it, it's, 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 a, it's a slightly different thing than, like, misspelling Dinkins, you know, which, which occurred in one of the budgets that is sort of like from 06, but... They're creating a name of a group that doesn't exist, and then if there's more than one person that discusses actually how to do this, then it's conspiracy commit fraud. Like, is this as as bad as that, or is it? Just I don't think so. You know, uh, you know, the mayor says he knew nothing about it. I take him at his word. Uh, you know, uh, you know, he uh, he signs the budget. You know, uh, his people are involved in every pro every aspect of the negotiation. Right on that one. So uh, you know, you know, the bottom line is that uh, you know the money all went to uh, legitimate purposes. Was it transparent? Uh, obviously, it wasn't as transparent as it should have been, and I know the Speaker uh, has taken steps to address that, and uh, I don't think you'll see it in future budgets. It, it, how, how, can that, how can that be guaranteed? Like, like weren't there like, the stickers and the signatures and everything? Like, what, what should happen from here going forward? Well, from here going forward, we're going to try to be uh, more transparent. You know, we, uh, under Speaker Quinn, we opened up the budget process significantly, transparency by uh, having council members' names affiliated with uh, not only expense items, but capital items as well. You know, I, th I think this just goes along with that, um, you know, uh, transparency issue. Do you think this is going to be an issue as the 2009 campaign season comes like, closer? I don't think so.